Rendering a linear video. In this part, I am going to cover more details about how to export your final production. I am assuming that at this moment you have already recorded your video, you have made little fixes here and there, or you are engaged in a full editing production of your video, but we are at the end of it and it is time to create a single video file that you are going to be able to upload somewhere on the internet for distribution to your students. I'm going to bring the Camtasia window forward and I have already opened one of my previous productions how to edit multiple tracks and what I'm gonna do is just go through the process of exporting it. One easy way to export it as you already know is just to go through this option and all of the settings will be in a way decided by Camtasia. The other way to export is by clicking on advanced export and in this window you're going to have this button over here where you can manipulate specifically the location for your file and over here you're going to find four different options for your export. The first one is to export to mp4 file and that is the option that you should select if you want to distribute your video over the internet. The second option is a QuickTime movie. It is not a format that is most suitable for the web anymore and it is better to choose the MP4 but that is also an option if you decide to go that way. Another format is an animated GIF which normally is for very small productions and you, and you are able to upload an image that has multiple frames and it will play without audio or you can export only the audio. Very well, I'm going to select MP4 and I'm going to click on the Options button. In this Advanced Export Options, you have the ability to control the frame rate, which I will leave it as automatic. Camtasia is going to adjust automatically to whatever content you're showing on your screen. The second one is the keyframe. The keyframe establishes how often the video and the audio are going to be kept in sync. So if for any reason your video is not syncing well with your audio, one way to fix that is by reducing this number of keyframes. And that will force Camtasia to establish more anchor points where your video and your audio are going to be synchronized. The quality option, I would always recommend to send this to the higher quality. Screen capturing videos are normally fairly small and it is a good idea to seek the highest possible quality because at the end of the day you're going to receive a lot smaller file than if you are trying to compress a photographic quality video. But you have the ability to choose among all these different presets and if you do, for example if you choose these, you're going to be able to select among different options to how your video is going to fit in within the window of the production. What I would like to recommend is that you select fit within size and here to keep it in current. As it is most probably your case, if you select current, this will be automatically chosen for you. And you have the option to encode the audio of your recording or not. And I am assuming that you want your voice to be included in your video. So that has to be checked very well. So I'm going to go forward and I'm going to create a brand new file and I'm going to place it momentarily on the desktop because eventually I'm going to delete it. This is just for demonstration purposes and I'm going to click on export. And there it goes. As I have recommended in the past, this could be a fairly long process. So if you're trying to create videos just before the time of delivery, you might have some problems for waiting this process to happen and not only this process to happen but also the uploading of your file. So I would like to recommend you that you always start with a lot of time in advance even though we're not doing any work while they take place, they do take a lot of time to complete. So at this moment I'm going to pause my recording and I'm going to wait for this to be at 99% to come back to it. Okay, the process is almost done. Probably in the background you can hear a little bit of the computer humming and that is because the process of rendering is quite intensive for your computer and if you have a MacBook Pro as I do, chances are at this moment the fan is really trying to minimize the amount of heat that your laptop is producing. 
and there it goes so at this moment you are going to be asked if you just want to close this window or if you want to reveal your production in the finder that's what i'm going to click on right now and here it is my mp4 file with my multiple tracks i'm going to double click on it and there it is adding several recordings together very well this took uh, quite a bit of time but we rendered the video file this file can be uploaded to a regular server or to youtube or google drive and it will work just fine as i demonstrated before the next step is to make another export however in this case i'm going to choose something that is smaller in size so i spend less time waiting for it to render i'm going to create a brand new project i'm going to close that window i'm going to import media and i am going to choose my news map recording that is a lot smaller recording and it should take a lot less time to demonstrate things so i am going to right click and add to the timeline at the playhead and once again I'm gonna go through the process of exporting this video now this video is the original production is about that long so what I'm gonna do is just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna split my video right here and I'm gonna delete this other part so let's assume that this is my entire production and I'm going to go again to the share window to the share option and now I'm going to choose export as web page I'm going to choose a name for the file and this is just for demonstration purposes and one of the things that you have now is that at the time of export not only your video will be created but also the HTML files that are going to be necessary for that video to be placed on a regular server and for it to have a controller something that would allow you to stop to play and so on so I'm gonna go through these different process for you to see the type of files that you get from it it's going a lot faster now I'm still gonna pause and come back to it there it goes and now I want to reveal it in the finder and now what we got as a result is not a file but a folder and if you open that folder you're gonna realize that there's an index HTML file in there so all of these has to be uploaded to a regular server and when you do so your media will appear within the browser is gonna have this play button and when okay. you play it you're gonna realize that you have this controller down here in which you are able to play pause move the video to different sections uh, mute the sound have a timer and so on very well so that covers the section about how to export linear videos that will run from beginning to end for you to place them on a regular server or for you to place them in YouTube or Google Drive